thought your side was well in contention at half time? Yeah, I did, mate. I thought, um, yeah, I thought, I thought we were given as good as what we got. So, um, you know, leading 12-6 and then obviously we, a few things went against us. And, yeah, going in half time, I still thought we were a big chance, mate, to be honest. And, you know, we just didn't, we probably, you know, the opposition were great in that second half and they were hard to handle and, yeah, we, we couldn't match them, unfortunately. Were there a couple of four passes that didn't go away? Oh, I think so, but, I mean, at the end of the day, that, that was irrelevant. I mean, the scoreline ended up, but you know, it does change the game, there's no doubt about that. But you know, we need to get past that, and we've probably been able to do it all year where we've had a bit of adversity and been able to bounce back. And what have they stopped doing that they were doing okay in the first half? <coughs> Anything in particular? No, no, mate, as I said, the opposition were good in the second half, and we just obviously quite a possession it was against us as well in that second half, so yeah, we didn't defend as well as we liked, but. Yeah, that's probably been an issue for the last, probably for the whole year, to be honest. You know, our defence, our defence has been poor at times. You think some of the off-field things have started to maybe got on top of you to the schedule? Oh, I think it's a contributing factor, without a doubt. You know, and, you know, it's not making excuses for anyone. You know, we've got a few, we've got a, few, a lot of players out, and we've we've had to deal with a fair bit over the last three weeks. But you know, at the end of the day. It's, uh, they're professionals and they, we need to get over it. And see, it's easy to say, but it's hard to do, there's no doubt. What's your view on the Warriors, Andrew, that they can produce a performance like that after coming up with some flat ones over the past month? I oh, like any team, you know, it's... I, I think on the day, anyone can beat anyone. And, you know, I, I, I can't really answer that one, to be honest. I just don't worry about what we can do. And unfortunately, for the last probably four or five weeks, we haven't been great ourselves. So. Yeah, that's what I need to look at first and foremost. Does the club, Andrew, need a massive overhaul of personnel or attitude, or do you think it's fine tuning and tinkering for next season? I mean, it's sitting in this position, it's easy for me to say that it needs fine tuning and tinkering. And I, I honestly think, you know, with an off season, that there's, there's issues that we need to iron out in terms of how we play and, and structural within the club, there's no doubt about that. But I really do think that the staff they've got there is very capable. And you know, given the right opportunity, I think they could really prove themselves. But you know, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Works out. You know, they, they, as I just said to the boys, we need to forget about that. What could happen next year? And just worry about next week because you know, the last two performances haven't been great. Playoffs are probably gone now. What's the what will be the motivation for last week? Oh, I just think it's about making a statement. You know, we um, we've had three weeks to get over what's happened, and obviously it's, it's ongoing with some certain issues. But you know, we need to get there and and play for our fans, we're going to be at home and we need to play for each other and, and commit to each other. You know, it's a close group, there's no doubt about that. And although when we get out there we feel we're not really showing it at the moment. So that's what I want to see next week. I want to see a really annoying performance and one where we don't give up and one where we you know we're happy to play out there for each other. David as one of the sort of senior players that puts in every week, you kind of feel a wee bit let down by some of the off field stuff that you and the boys have been involved in this year? Yeah, it's hard not to feel um, let down. You know, you, you want your best players out there uh, playing for you each week, and um, it's, it's obviously um, it'd be naive to say it's um, it's not a distraction. But um, like Duna said, it's um, it's about being professional and trying to handle that the best you can and not use it as an excuse. So, um, you know, it's one game left, and yeah, whether we can make the finals or not, I'm not sure. It's just about going out there and making a statement and and, and playing well. So. Um, the Sharkies are a, a very good team, and uh, but we're, we're back at home as well. So um, yeah, we've got to try and put it behind us and, and, and handle it well and, and, and play our best footy if we can. Cheers, guys.